everyone. So one of the common questions I've been asked a lot from families I meet with or phone calls we get at some of the funeral homes right after the person died is please don't cremate them before I can get there to see them tomorrow. Where I think people are assuming the individual goes right from the place of death directly to the crematory and into the retort here. And that is just not the case. So in most places, um, they have to go to a holding area, either at the funeral home or at the crematory, or if it's a joined building, they may go into a cooled storage area, like a cooler, um, to keep them cooled until the permits can be done. So there are permits, there is paperwork, paperwork, paperwork that has to be done. First of all, a verbal authorization from a family does not legally bind. Uh, authorization from the individual in a prearrangement does not legally bind for the cremation. We have to do more paperwork at the time of death. We need to have a doctor's signature from the primary care physician, the medical examiner, the coroner, somebody to tell us what the cause of death is. Then the medical examiner will sign off on the cremation authorization. So that is a two-step process part. We also have to have the family authorization signed then we schedule at the crematory. So it is quite the process to get to the point of actually cremating. Doesn't just happen like that. So there is time between death and the cremation for viewing, to discuss a lot of other things. So things don't happen that quickly when it comes to cremation.